temperature is supposed to exceed 100 degrees Fahrenheit today and tomorrow. It's not going to be quite as hot as that last heat wave, but we will be keeping a close eye on our animals. Right now I'm making sure our animals have plenty of water to drink. I replaced the small waterer with the bigger waterer that we had in the mobile coop so the chickens would be able to have a little more water inside if they need to drink water inside the coop. As you can see here, the chickens have no respect for this waterer. They've just been pooping all over the top of it. Fortunately, it's designed a little wider on top, so the poop on the top doesn't contaminate the water, and the water inside is just perfectly clean.
Stay inside. This chicken waterer is just a little too heavy when it's completely full to move around comfortably. So I just fill it part way and then top it off once it's in here again. It's still pretty early in the day, so it's not too hot right now. This drought that we've been having in Oregon is pretty serious. I've been hand watering all of these trees that I planted in the tree stump nurse logs twice a week, just to make sure they don't dry out and die on us again. I had one of those trees die uh, just this last year Check out the videos if, you, uh, if you're curious about this tree stump nurse log saga. It's one of my favorite things that we've got going on out here.
Yeah. Yes. As cute as you guys are, we should share with the girl goats. Yes. We should share with the girl goats. It's still only in the 90s, but Wendy has given our rabbits a little special treat from the garden. You like that? Get a little moisture from the leaves. You like your squirrel. Autumn knows what to do with her leaf. Autumn is good with leaves. What do you think of our new buck pin space now that the trees are gone? I'm a little disappointed. A little disappointed to lose the trees. We always knew, we always knew the trees would not survive our ravenous goats. The space does feel a little more, a little more barren, a little more dead to me, but it does, open the space up a little bit more to the forest beyond. And the goats themselves bring a lot of life and energy to the space with or without trees. Here's a quick before clip. Do let me know in the comments section below what you think about the new buck pin space. It's now 102 degrees. Most of our animals seem to be doing okay. The quail, the adult quail, look a little bit stressed, so... I'm going to put some ice cubes in their water. Hopefully they'll cool down a little bit here.
we're just a few more hours away from the temperatures peaking. So I think we'll probably be doing okay with, uh, with our animals in this heat wave. The quail chicks are doing just fine. They're in our garage still. We've turned off the heat lamp. They're actually old enough that they could come out here already. I'm just waiting for this heat wave to pass by so they can be out here when it's a little bit more of a normal temperature for them. Squirrel was panting a little bit, so Wendy gave him a big block of ice. You gotta see this. He's mostly interested in shredding the plastic that's around that ice. But playing with it, I think will cool him down a little bit. Chickens are also starting to pant a little bit. I put some ice cubes in the bottom tray of their waterer to cool off the water a little bit, but I don't know that it's gonna really do much good. They're gonna just melt right away and temperature isn't gonna really drop that much. That quail from the intro was shot just after the little guy hatched. The quail are a little bit bigger now. I'll show you how they're doing now. We've still got them here in my shop, but the heat lamp has been off. It's obviously warm enough that they don't need the heat lamp. I'm glad to say that the heat wave this time was a false alarm for us, at least as far as our animals are concerned. I am grateful that we had electricity for air conditioning for ourselves inside. Yesterday, the power was out for a while. We got a shelter in place alert on our phones because of a gas leak nearby. So, so thankfully, that was a false alarm too.